What's up, guys? On this episode of AC Designs Garage, we're going to get back on the 1966 Volkswagen, putting the freshly painted wheels. I got a brand new Firestone tires and white wall portal walls on it. We're going to get her down on the ground, ready to start driving. Coming up. All right, guys, pretty excited about getting my bug back on the road. We've done a few uh, videos on this thing. Uh, if you notice, the back bumpers look like almost like brand new chrome we got a video on that and had a video on stripping my wheels i didn't didn't video paint them that's kind of boring but if any of you guys want to see on how to paint or anything like that i can do videos on that but we did a base clear on it and uh these are my new tires and these are port walls these are really cool check out those they just snap on under the bead and work good and they're pretty cheap i think like 60 or 70 bucks a set you just pop them on they from a 20 or 30 foot look like regular old white walls but what we're running our front ones are firestone f560 135 15s and the rear are firestone f560 165 15 so that's a tire side this is a tire we use on the hot rods a lot it's got a really cool tread pattern i think these come from coker that's where they came from but I like these uh, portal walls you guys are interested. I'm thinking they're making all up to a 20 inch. You can knock on some poor man white walls, what we call them, and up to a 20 inch wheel, but pretty easy to put on. You just break the bead down, snap them on, air them back up. Really easy to work with. And they look really cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get this thing set up and we're going to start knocking some tires on here. We're going to put this bad boy on the ground. Hopefully, next week, maybe we can get some video of driving this thing down the road. Yeah, that's the only problem with Volkswagens. You don't have studs sticking out. They actually use a, I guess you could call it a bolt. They don't have studs, you can hang them on, so you gotta hold them up. And one thing when you put these on, make sure you're not just tightening it up one at a time because they have these uh, like counter sinks that center them up and you just want to make sure you have all of them run in there and centered up on here really good before you start tightening them. We're probably going to torque them at probably 95 to 100 foot pounds is what I usually do mine. These look to be, I'm going to guess a half inch bolt maybe. Yeah, if you'll notice you can move them around these little chamfer things on here will, helps line them up in the wheel man them things are going to look really good i dig my portal walls i priced doing a set of uh regular white walls down the back classic side i think south carolina they have some really nice ones but they're not in my budget right now so Good old kick on white walls, what we call them. They work really good. Last a good while too. Just don't use a tire brush on them. They're like a, kind of like a polished rubber, I guess you'd call it. They're really nice and slick. But if you start using a lot of heavy degreasers and tire brushes it'll and comment, it'll scratch them and they'll get real dingy. So I'm just going to probably use like a Windex to wipe them off. All right. Got that one on. Let's get the other three. Get our little 135 put on. I tell you, I really dig the six inch narrow beam. KCW out of Colorado built built this beam i built a lot of super rad Volkswagens. i think they're in grand junction colorado but this is a super nice piece this 
it's pretty narrow. A lot of people don't like them. I dig them. I, I like from the front of the car. I like the wheels tucked in. Plus, when it's aired down, it, you can actually full steer this thing lock to lock aired down. This wheel really turned out pretty slick too. We painted these outside in what we call the Florida booth. But I based and cleared them outside. They look really good. I got one that's got a bug. I'm gonna have to cut cut and buff it out. But got those set. Wait to drive this thing again. It's been five years since I got the cruiser up and down the road. I'll tell you one of the coolest things me and dad done in this car was I never forget it. We went to one of the I usually don't go to too many of the cars and coffee things. But buddy of mine wanted me to go down to a, it was in no dodge charlotte north carolina a lot of a lot of high-end cars lamborghinis and porsches and a lot of stuff that cost way more than this car did so i told my dad when we were running out there there i was like you know what i'm gonna go down here and find the most expensive car i can and park right beside it and see what kind of looks we get i'll post a picture of it up in the video i parked right next to a brand new bright orange lamborghini People were almost sitting on the Lamborghini to take pictures of this cheap Volkswagen, which I thought was pretty cool. So that goes to show, if you build a bug, if you want attention, build one of these. It was pretty neat. I don't think the guy with the brand now, granted that Lamborghini was super rad. I would have really liked to have it, but... Centered up. Back exhaust, back exhaust. Let's go right on. Try to just get them. All right. Last rear one on. We'll be ready to let her down. Lug nuts. Well, I didn't leave enough room. I guess I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna use the floor jack on the Volkswagen jack in the spot, I guess. pretty good. Get my We just got these little, these are the 1500 pound dollies from uh, Harbor Freight. They weren't really good. I think they cheapened them up a little bit. They used to have steel wheels, now they got plastic ones. That's the only down fault, they're still pretty good. And yeah, we'll let her on down, move to the other side. Well, you can tell the air's done leaked out of the system. <laughs> Been in here a couple months. Let's move on over there real quick. All right, went ahead and slid our jack up under our jack point from the Volkswagen. So these are pretty cool. You, they got these little things that just go in here, but the jack's awesome. I may do a video one day on how to 
jack up a Volkswagen factory jack. It's just a tube that slides in here, but it's really cool. And it have these covers. All right, on the front end of a Volkswagen, they're pretty easy. You don't have to worry about from side to side. The beam, you can see it goes all the way across. Yeah, you can tell I drive a little low. It's a little beat up there. We're just going to place the jack right here in the middle of the beam, pick it up, take the stands out. I've already got my little casters down here. See if I can get it on here where you can see what they are. But we got them from Harbor Freight. They work really good. Like I said, they just cheapen them up a little bit and put the plastic wheels on them. But they work pretty good, especially for a car that's this light. I'll get the rest of it out. Alright guys, now they got it out here now, what I need to do is I'm going to jack it up because right now when I try to torque the wheels, it's wanting to roll the dolly. So if you ever have lower cars that are lowered much, I got the air I picked up just a little. But you always set them down on boards and you can back them off after you get the jack pulled out because if you don't put these under the tire, especially on a, a static drop car that don't have any movable suspension, you're not going to get your jack out from there. So I always do these. I'm going to jack it up, pull these out, put these under it, we'll roll it off. and. After I get the jack out, we'll be good to go.
that easy. Alright guys, we decided to drop down. 100 felt a little much, and maybe it is. I, I dropped down 5 pounds on my torque, so I'm going to do all these at, at uh, 95 foot-pounds. We're going to get this done. I'm going to finish cleaning up my hubcaps. We'll knock them on, and we'll get some pictures over out there in front of this gorgeous maple tree that we got left where the leaves fall off of it. So, here we go. if you put her in gear. Make sure always the torque in a star pattern. Never just go around it. Alright guys, that's about it. I'll give you a little quick walk around. I don't see it before we get her outside and put the caps on. What do you guys think? Caps or no caps? I'll walk over here and show you the caps real quick. I still have to Get her cleaned up. She's still a little dirty from being outside under the carport. I'll show you my cat real quick. What do you guys think? Caps or no caps? Let me know down in the comments. Caps look pretty cool. I think no caps make it look a little more narrow in the front. Of course, I don't really need it any more narrow than it is. Guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video of putting the wheels and tires on. We got the tag for the car. She's ready to go cruising. We'll do some more content on it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share out. God bless. We gone.